<clears throat> All right, for this project, we're going to need three, four, four things really. One of these adapters um, um, for the socket wrench. We have a half inch, a five sixteenths inch, and a nine sixteenths inch. I forgot to mention um, you need one of these to take off that handle and all that assembly. It's like a T something. It's about eighth inch wide. I'm not sure what what size that is, but it's a star bit. So I'm starting by using the nine sixteenth to remove the mower blade. So that just comes off counterclockwise. Has a little washer on there, lock nut. Don't want to lose those. I usually just pull the whole assembly off and I'll set it aside. There's just a bolt on the bottom and then a couple of nuts on the top we gotta to take out. There's that. Those two. And now this bottom piece should pop out. Oh yeah, that already fell out. Cool. Set that aside. This lets us get up to this hole right here. And I've already taken out. You just have to do all this to take out the, uh, the piece that we're going to be putting in today. Which I ordered on eBay for 10 bucks, which is the cable, comes with the spring. So the next thing I did was I fed this so I was able to attach the spring into the clutching mechanism. That did require pulling the wire out a little from where it came when it was shipped. But now I can pull that back. And so I'll mount this now. All right, so this is put together. This is on top. And then comes this weird uh, lever. And then this piece is on the bottom. This goes in, you take this piece off, and slide this in, and then put this back on and wrap this around. So now it's in there correctly. It goes in there, it comes around, and this bolt goes right here, and I'm going to clamp it back together. All right, so the way this thing works is this is a clutch and it tightens that belt. When it tightens, it causes these wheels to spin because there's a, there's a roller up here. So, put that on. Now, tighten the handle, there we go.